What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, we got another locker. So here's our storage adventure tale brought to you. And this time, guess what we found? We found treasure. All right, just kidding. That's plastic coins. Plastic. So we found that in the locker. But really, this time we did actually find something pretty exciting. So the locker started out, it looked really good, then it didn't, and then it was. So uh, here's our tale. Stay tuned. Next up is Pleasanton. We'll see what we find there. All right, got one, 300 bucks. I'm excited. Not too much light here, but here's what we got. So, eh, definitely gonna be taking some stuff to the dump. But I got this very interesting tandem bicycle. <laughs> okay, never owned one of those, so that'll be interesting to see. Let's see. Oh, another patio umbrella. There's a shop back back there. A couple of, I'm not sure if those are pop-up tents or chairs. Um, I don't a display cabinet, I think. I don't know, some suitcases. Stuff back there looks empty. Here we got some bins. Plastic bins. Bins. Nice boxes, and that's where you know interesting stuff comes about. There's a some kind of dress form back there. Those are pretty cool. Um so strange. Three more of those keyboards, M audio. Uh, so I'm gonna guess that those are pretty MIDI, probably MIDI keyboards, just like the ones I got in the other one. And the last one I got three in that one as well. So what's with the three keyboards? Well, the last one was lucky with three keyboards, so I think this one has a chance to be too. I don't know if that's a hat box or a drum. Um, I don't know what this is here. This is probably a fridge or something here. That's a that's a bummer. Maybe. Not sure if it'll be hard to get rid of that. And here's some sort of display case. Uh, so I paid 300 bucks for the locker. And it's definitely got some intrigue. This was the best one of the day, for sure. So let's, uh, let's start cleaning it out and see what we got. Okay. All right, well, this is the Shimano. It's a better brand. It's beat the hell. But, who knows? Uh, I've been left outside, these brakes are seized up. <laughs> Richard Swimmins. That is funny. Okay. Huh. Speaker. Let's see what we got here. Samurai Jack. Star Trek Nemesis. Hitchhiker's Guide. South Park Buffy. Meet the Fockers, Captain Ron, just put that in there. Right. Nothing inappropriate, which is good. I don't want to bring anything inappropriate into the house. That would go straight to the dump. Yeah, what we got here? Hmm. That's interesting. Two 
two shot vax. Hmm. This is cool. That doesn't look decorative. That actually looks functional. Huh. Wow. That's pretty cool. Box for a printer. That looks like a junk box to me. What is this? It's gross, whatever it is. Halloween. That's worth zero money in November. Pay on this locker. It's not looking very good at this point. All right, so headed home after the first load. I got the car pretty much loaded and not super happy just yet with this purchase so $300 locker they charge 10% buyer's fee so it's 330 plus tax so it's 350 or so 350 something I'm gonna have to take stuff to the dump as I get in there like there's some big particle board cabinets and things and those are um, those are junk So it's Wednesday night and I got pretty much anything that's going to be worth anything uh, in my garage. Oh man, I'm not seeing a lot of value here, unfortunately. So there still may be some stuff in these boxes, um, but I, I mean I took a peek in most of them and I didn't really see anything. This bike unfortunately is roast. I know that these tandem bikes sell for a lot of money, but obviously that's in good condition. This one is not. It's rusted out. The brakes don't work. The tires don't turn. I mean, the, the actually the wheel on the back doesn't turn. Maybe it's the front. I don't know. Uh, but it's it's seized up. It's pretty rough shape. I th I'm sure the frames were something, but I think this brand Kent is not particularly valuable. I saw it online for starting at 400 bucks, brand new. Really, there's nothing of value here. <laughs> These keyboards. They got leaves all over them. I don't. Everything looked. Everything looked like it was left outside, and like it was left in the. I mean, a lot of it was left in the rain, obviously, because the boxes are. You could tell they would been wet inside. Some of the stuff is like mildewed and moldy. It's 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 gross. It actually has a smell to it, but not that bad. I don't think it was like completely saturated and completely moldy. But there definitely is a musty, mildewy smell to it. Um, and some of the stuff was ruined. So the locker is still like r pretty full. Um, and I gotta, it's all going to the dump. So tomorrow I'm gonna have to load the truck up 
and take either one or trip two trips to the dump. Some of this stuff is going to go to the dump too. But this is what I just saw and I was like, no way. No way. GoPro. So, let's see. Uh, usually I think there's the clear case right there that, that has the camera on it. But, let's see. Nope. So, all right. Well, got my hopes up for a second. Maybe I'll find the GoPro somewhere else. I'll keep hunting. I got the muscle with me today. Ha ha ha. Okay, we'll get your, we'll get your reaction to the treasures that lie within. <laughs> Wow. That's funny. Wow. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Do you remember what I... Um, it's even worse than I remember. Yeah, that smell and stuff. Alright, let's turn off that camera and get growing to the ugly side of lockers. <laughs> the underworld of trash. You're not filming me, right? No. I mean, never. this is not a part of the deal. My address, fine. YouTubers want to see no. what the life of a wife of a storage <laughs> adventurer is like. We don't have enough time for that. <laughs> we do, actually. No, we don't. We're waiting in line to go to the dump for the third time in 24 hours. Good times. Where are we going after this? Uh, pedicures. Pedicures. We'll see. <laughs> wow, they've done a lot more since we were here in the last. Uh, okay, here we are at the dump. My third and final load. It smells divine. This is the light stuff. It's glamorous part of the job. Glamorous part of the job. Not All right, so here we are Friday night, and <laughs> <laughs> we're eating in and out. We decided last minute to do a garage sale tomorrow, so we're preparing all the stuff in the garage, plus we're cleaning through the house to find anything, and getting change, and getting everything ready. Making signs, <laughs> making signs. Next step, make signs and starting to pull out Christmas stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm back at the garage. Got my uh, GoPro strapped to my head, looking like a goober. And I'm gonna start going through stuff here, so uh, I'll use the GoPro uh, footage so you can follow along with me and uh, let's see what we find. Once again. <laughs> I learned in this business go through cards. Um, I think on some of the earlier lockers I ever bought, I was thinking, well, maybe someone forgot a gift card in there. And sure enough, I found some. And I found many over the years. So I found this. And uh, look inside. <laughs> and what does this say? Amazon gift card, $10. On just a piece of paper, 
Um, but unfortunately, I put in the code already redeemed. So strike out here, but still, every piece of paper kind of got to check everything. You never know. All right, see that right there? That's a smile. That right there is from my GoPro that I have strapped to my head, but that's a big smile. Why? Because I'm going through more garbage. This box here, I pull out this bag here, and, and maybe I've got this all on the, on the GoPro footage, but pull out this bag right here, dump everything out, Going through more cards, gone through tons of cards. Here's what I find. I pull this one out, going through it, just like everything else. Okay, I got one hand here. Boom. Card. Little girl's christening. Open it up. Boo, yeah, right there. That's real. $100 bill. What does it say? Here's to a bright future. Thank you. Camille, I need you to come out and tape. Okay. All right. Okay. You got it going? Yeah. All right. All right. So, I just, I, I just want to play this card real quick. You know what that's saying? Happy birthday to me. Because right after finding this hundred dollar bill in this card I open this one and what do I find twenty dollars thank you aunt E thank you it feels like my birthday so anyways I've enlisted the help of my daughter Camille to help me go through the rest because all of a sudden we're on the streak here we're going through some cards and I have a feeling maybe I can find some more this was not staged. This is a hundred dollars. Get, get me. This is not staged, okay? That just happened. A hundred dollar bill. That's another hundred. Hey, we found another hundred. Okay. Love Dennis and Mickey. Dennis and Mickey, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, oh. yes. Yes. What? Two fifties. Two fifties. <laughs> That's another oh hundred. God. That's three hundred and twenty dollars. Right? Yes. <laughs> I uh, I can't read it. Idols, Wendy, Wendy and Isabella. Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't know there was more. Yeah, it's good that you checked that. Okay. It's very good that you checked that. I check all the cards. That is something I've done since I first started this business. I just had a feeling like maybe I'll find something. Maybe someone forgot to take... You know, sometimes you go through your drawer in your bedroom and you find, you know, $25 Starbucks. <laughs> we don't know if that's charged or not. But I will check that later. And I will update you viewers. That will go to the thrift store. Get bags looking in these. Because you never know. You know, sometimes you go through that drawer in your bedroom where you throw the cards. And you're throwing out the cards. You go through it. And you find some money. And you say, gee whiz, I didn't know I forgot that. How did I forget that? Good thing I didn't throw these cards away. 
Well, I had the same thing when I started getting these lockers. And today, it's paying out. I've never found that much money in cards before. And I must say, I'm super happy. Because this locker is a big fat turd. And that money really helps us. It really does help us. Um, okay, that's it. You can cut it, Camille. But I'm going to say, that was great. You know what? Actually, keep it running. Let's go inside and show the family. Okay. All right. Oh, I bet there'll be some happiness. <laughs> Here's the hundred that we found, right? Here's the 20 I then found. And then Camille went out. Hundred. Are you kidding? I'm going out there to look through cards. And two fifties. Are you kidding? Honey, you just came from the locker. I said, Camille, come out and help me film. $320. I'm Are you kidding? I'm the lucky person. <laughs> oh my gosh, honey, you just paid for the locker. Yeah. And I get the Starbucks. We'll see if it's charged. <laughs> yeah. right. Dude, I can That's Are you crazy. so happy right now? It makes me feel a lot better. Look, I shake the cookie. All right, got the camera going? Yep. Okay, I just pulled stuff out of here. It just was receipts. I thought we were done with the cards. But we're not. Check it out. Sephora, $50. Now, I'm, this might not be anything, but I have a feeling it is because it was in this card. So, still in the package. Rima, thank you. Also, it's in the package. Yeah. Get a picture of our uh, gift card pile there, Camille. Right now? Yeah. But I'm on video. Yeah, turn the video that way and just tell oh. them what you're looking at. So, can I go through them? Yeah, that's awesome. So, right here we have. Sonoma, that, I don't know how to pronounce it, so. Sephora. Yeah, $50, then we have, uh, let's see here. We have Starbucks, $25. We got an iTunes card for $15. Baby's RS, I found this one. I'm not sure how much this one is. Well, we'll go through them, just tell them what we got. Bards and Nobles, don't know how much. Ross, 25. And then, Robinson's May. Help me. <laughs> oh my. What? That's a two dollar bill. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's old and really like, looks like it's been through the laundry. But it's money. But it's money, yeah, that's two dollars. <laughs> Cool. Mm -hmm. Not this time. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Check it. It's still taping, right? Yeah. Jimboree. What's Jimboree. that? This card has $35. $35? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah! Right on! Wait, where's the... It's over. Okay. I'm being kind of a punk, but... Oh, yes. Another baby's this R.S. Is exciting. It... Well, yeah. What the heck? Another one. Another baby's R.S. How much is that one? Annette and Paul. It doesn't say... Oh, wait, it does say. Oh. It says activated, and there's a receipt right here. Oh, we can return it now. It's old. It's oh, I think it's faded. I don't know. Does this say twenty five dollars right there? Let me see. I think it says twenty five dollars. Says right there. It's like I see a five. Yeah, twenty five. Because I see a faded two. Cool. Babies are ours. Twenty five dollars. That's there's some money right there, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the mall tomorrow. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's your cookies. 
keep finding these gift cards. Oh. Need to turn. Halloween stuff. Wow. Yeah, thanks. Oh. That's real valuable in November. <laughs> 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 Almost December. So this is our first pet crow. Wait, no. Where's our pet crow? Oh, there. Oh, yeah, it was. So this is our first pet <laughs> crow. Take this out. Are you taping? Check it out. Respect my forte. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who that is. No. Because you don't get to watch that. That's the adult. Brand new napkins. I'm oh, going to show them our pet storm. crow. Pet so this storm. is our first pet crow. Very still. And it says press here. So. It makes. It makes real sounds. You gotta go through everything really carefully. Because I don't know. Like something. Gift card or something fell in these bags. You know. Huh. Oh, some fake blood. Hmm. What is this though? Creepy. That is wackadoodle. Wait. Go on. Sneak a peek. <gasps> For long. <laughs> I can't look into her eyes. <laughs> Looking that is up. That's awesome. You know what? I would never buy this crud. It's beautiful. It's okay to stare. I won't bite. <laughs> that is so creepy. <laughs> Okay, I'm turning off. I turned it off. It's still going. Okay, that's weird. Kind of is. All right, so I got such a rush out of all that money and gift cards. Um, that gave me some second win. I was really dragging. What do we do? All right, so we're wrapping up our garage sale here today, and I realized that we should have taken some video before we sold everything, or almost everything. So here's what we got left. A ton of DVDs. Yeah, we got a ton of movies. We have baby clothes, some glasses. Well, this is from our house, isn't yeah. it? From the store. The baby clothes is from the locker. Mm -hmm. And we didn't sell much of that, did we? No. No. Well, yeah, what, only one person got some baby clothes. All right, so we wrapped up our garage sale um, a couple hours ago and did pretty good. So we sold about $240. The kids did almost better than us, but they were selling their stuff. The girls sold their American Girl dolls, personal, you know, collection, not storage stuff, and uh, they did extremely well. So I think um, almost 200 bucks between the three girls. So, uh, but for us, we got 240 bucks thereabouts, and about 170 of it was from this last locker. So 170 dollars. That's not bad. All right, let's wrap up this video. I've taken all of our stuff and laid out what's left, and uh, I like to watch this YouTube channel by Gamers Lockers Life. These guys, um, I like what they do, and yeah, they have some great videos. Uh, but what they do at the end is they lay everything out and kind of show you what the total take was. I'm kind of copying them on that, but I have obviously sold some stuff already since we had a garage sale, and I sold a couple things um, other, you know, besides that. I sold that bike. Finally, sold the bike. I listed for 150. Took a local guy took it for 50 bucks. His he said his intention was to fix it up for he and his wife to enjoy, and I hope they do. Still got that dress form. Three people in the last 24 hours interested in it. It's been up for a week, but um, just all of a sudden got some activity. I'm sure I'll sell that. The big thing is that cash money that we found inside the uh, baby shower and wedding cards. So $322 total. And then the gift cards. This is most of the gift cards. I got $50 for Sephora, $10 Barnes & Noble. The Gymboree was $35. Ross is $25. The Macy's, I think, is 25. I can't really confirm it over the phone. I got to bring that in. Baby's R S 25. iTunes 15, and then uh, also there was a Starbucks card, 25 bucks. Those are all confirmed. So there's a couple more cards than that, but I dumped them because the, they had already been redeemed. Battery kit here for charger for a Wii. These are selling for 25 dollars used. Even though this is new in the package, it's got this little ding on the package. The package is a little beat up, so I got to sell it used. And I'm going to try to sell that on Amazon. Uh, I've never sold anything on Amazon before, so this will be my first venture. These books, these used music books on Amazon are actually surprising. 15 to 20 bucks each. I've got a few. 
But this one in particular is very interesting because they have one listed on Amazon for $1,100. And I'm not sure exactly why there was other books in the same collection. Um, this one didn't seem to be particularly different. There's nothing special about it. Books and change, nothing too impressive there. Very, very dirty, so I'd probably drop that in the Coinstar. I don't believe in doing the Coinstar stuff. I don't think you should be paying 10 or 15% fees just to change money into money. But uh, that's dirty coins. I don't want to be handling that. The nice surprise is this. This is from the 1950s, and it's steel. And it it's pretty heavy. Pretty heavy. Um, it's beat to heck. It's got tons of rust and dents and dirt. <laughs> and surprisingly, like every one that I see online that sells looks pretty much just like that. The labels are peeling off. There's dirt in the wheel still. Um, and they sell for 120 to 150 bucks on eBay. I mean, I think three of them sold in the last 60 days. So these are moving and people are paying for them. So I listed it earlier today for $49 on auction and in just a few hours I've gotten several views and uh, I think one watcher so 49 bucks I think that'll sell we'll know in a week but anyways um, this is what I've got left to sell and uh, and that form so uh, I think we'll do okay I mean I think there's still another 100 to 200 maybe 250 if I'm lucky out of this locker um, but let's review how this locker panned out overall. So with the locker fee, the auction fee, the tax, and the three trips to the dump, I have a, just less than $500 in it. And uh, of course, the, the one dump trip with the refrigerator, the refrigerator alone was $103. So that's partially why the dump fees are so high. But just under $500. Um, for what I've sold either on eBay locally and with the garage sale, plus all the cash, plus all the gift cards, we are at about $760, which means that I so far have a $260 profit. Not too bad. I mean, look, I'll be honest, I'm not doing this to try to make $260 or $360 or $460. I was actually hoping to do a little bit better on this one, especially because I put so much into it cash-wise and time. This one was, this one just kind of sucked, basically. Um, I may have undersold that bike a little bit, but really this stuff was garbage and water damaged and just roasted. So I'm happy to come out with that profit. And it was fun. I mean, the thrill of finding that cash is like, that's why I do this. That's why other people who do this do this. Because that thrill, that adrenaline rush, and that like, find the treasure find you know it's what keeps you going it keeps you coming back for more it keeps me looking on the online auctions for the next ones coming up it's what keeps me going to the live auction and dragging myself around town and you know looking at dirty mattresses and you know junk garbage bags full of junk that's what does it because it's just like that thrill there's a, just a real thrill to it that it's hard to explain unless you experience it it's fun i mean it's just pure fun but for me personally, the satisfaction I get out of it is that unknown, that X factor. And uh, this locker had it, you know, those cards that I went through and found the stuff. That's fun. So anyways, uh, it's another successful storage adventure. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for hanging in there. I know it's a long video, but hopefully it was interesting. Until the next one, which, hey, it might be tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, God bless you. Take care and see you next time.